Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about using the update, update one, and update many methods in order to update documents within our collection. So to get started, let's execute the Mongo shell. I'm going to say use school db.students.find.pretty and let's actually find a student to update. So I'm just going to pick Zelda here. And let's say there was a typo when we were entering her into our database. So instead of saying Zelda with one A, we're going to say Zelda with two A's. So in order to do that, let's go down here and I can say db.students.update. Now within here is going to be our query document. So I'm just going to say first name and it's going to be equal to Zelda. So this is the query, which is going to find a document that we want to update. Second argument is going to be the update document. And what we're going to use for this argument is we're going to use something called a field update operator and it's called set. And what the set operator does is it takes a field and it changes it to whatever value that you want it to be. So we're going to change the first name field and we're going to change it to Zelda with two A's. So now if I was to hit enter, you can see that it matched one document within our students collection and that it successfully modified that document. So now if I go here, type DB students find pretty hit enter, go up here, you can see that the student named Zelda has been modified to have two A's instead of one A. So now let's say instead of changing one field within this document that I want to replace the entire document all together. So let's go back down here and instead of using a field update operator like set, what we can do is replace it with a document completely. So I could just pass in here the document that I wish to replace Zelda. So let's just be creative. I'm going to call it banana and I'm going to give it the value of banana and let's change this to match our newly updated Zelda document. And now if I was to hit enter, you can see that it matched the student Zelda and that it was successfully modified. So let's actually query for this. So I'm just going to go to here pass in banana, banana. And if I was to hit enter, you can see our modified student. So essentially what happened was it went out and found the student named Zelda and it replaced it with this document. So now we have the property of banana and it has the value of banana. So now let's move along to the update one method. So now I'm just going to query for something. And I'm going to query for the student named Pedro. So I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to type first name and I'm going to type Pedro. Now, if I was to hit enter, it's going to bring in two students with the first name of Pedro. So what I want to do is use the update one method and what the update one method is going to take the first instance, the first document that it finds, with the first name of Pedro, and then I can update that document. So let's go down here. I'm going to type db.students.update1. I'm going to pass in first name of Pedro. And this is going to find the document with the first name of Pedro. Second argument is going to be the update document. And we're going to use our field update operator. We're going to say set and let's set the property of grade to first grade. So now if I was to hit enter, it says acknowledge true match count one and it modified successfully. So now if I go back here, let's hit enter. And you can see that the first instance of a student having the first name of Pedro has been updated its grade to grade level one. 
So now let's say that I don't want to update just one document at a time. I want to query for a bunch of documents and I want to update all those documents at one time. So how would I go about doing that? Well, we're going to use page as example since there's two of them. So we're going to use the update many method. So I'm going to come down here and say db.students.update many. First, we're going to pass in the query document. So we're just going to say, I want all the students named Pedro. Then we're going to pass in the update document and we're going to use our field update operator set. And we're going to set all the students named Pedro's grade levels to the value of two. So now if I was to hit enter, let's execute our query to find all the Pedro's. And you can see that both Pedro's were updated to grade level of two.